Um, so you can see my little winter wonderland here. Was definitely not expecting all of this this morning. Love that for me. Oh, my hood just fell down. Love that for me as well. Let's just clean off my car and get to work. Good morning, guys. If you're new here, my name is Lo Nicole. If not, hi, welcome back. It was the weirdest thing. I crossed into the city and the snow just stopped. It was raining for a bit and now like there's like no precipitation here. Don't understand it. Weird. Anyways, I'm about to go into work and then I have to run some errands and we'll just see where life takes me. Today's Friday. Happy Friday. You're not gonna probably see this on a Friday, but whatever. Yeah, let's do it. here with my lunch which is kind of sad oh my god I hope I don't spill it it is chunky classic Campbell's chicken noodle soup my day is done basically because I work under the same doctor every day and she is leaving she like has a half day today so I don't have any more patients for the rest of the day but I have to stay here until five still so clinically unless I get any tasks make referrals or something my day is kind of done. I'm gonna eat my lunch now. I'm really into Ozark. I'm ready to name my child Ozark. I told Kirk that and he was like, <laughs> but I'm gonna watch Ozark. I'm on season two, approaching the end. Also, don't know how I feel about my hair like this. I don't know if I look like a child or if I look cute. Half a coffee later, guys, because you saw I only started with half. I'm so tired. I think I need a Friday nap. Like, I just need so tired. It's 3.40. We're really close to freedom, to the end of the day. I am in my car on my way home. It's the weekend. I'm excited. I feel like this is the first time I smiled this whole video. So I was planning on going to the bank and depositing some money and then going to Ulta to return some makeup. But it's 5.14 and... <laughs> The bank closes at six and I'm trying to go, oh my God, and I need gas. Oh my God, my tank, the light is on. I always do this. It's so bad, my parents hate it. My boyfriend hates it, everybody hates it. Like, oh my God, I forgot about the gas thing. The bank's not looking good. I don't know how I'm gonna get there in time. I don't think it's gonna happen, which means I'm gonna have to go tomorrow, which sucks because I didn't wanna have to go out tomorrow. Oh my God, sorry guys, the light turned green. So I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do now. It's all over. I the plans the plan has gone out the window at this point in time. Guys, look how pretty the sunset is. We have the most beautiful sunsets over this highway. I don't know why, but it's so pretty. On another note, I'm living life on the edge. Do you see the gas number? Well, it definitely happened. You can see the dashes, but guess what? Guess what? We're at the station. We made it. Can we talk about this? I was gonna have the struggle of the day be the gas yesterday, but like, how? It just broke off while I was using it. I promise I was not using it hard. Like literally, how? Hello guys, it is the next day. The vlog was only supposed to be one day, but I decided I really didn't do enough because yesterday after I, thankfully, we all know how close I cut it, got home after getting gas, I did not run out. I can't really tell you what happened next. I, I paid my student loans, that's so fun. I walked my dog. I watched House Party with Kirk ate some Uno's leftovers. And then I think I just fell asleep. I think I was in a little food coma. So now it is the next day and I'm filming because I'm gonna actually go to PNC, my bank, and go to Ulta and make that return. And then maybe do a couple of other things and just be productive. I think I'm like very productive when I film, but if I'm not filming, I have no accountability and then I'm on the couch all day. I'm also filming my sit down portion of my PRK hey. video finally today. Here is a little outfit of the day. I don't know how you can see me, but I'm wearing this like two piece set. We all know I live for two piece sets. And there's these stripes going down the side. And then I have these new sneakers on that I just got. 
I ordered those sneakers as like workout sneakers, but then also shoes that I can wear to work every day because I just wear sneakers every day with my scrubs. And um, okay, I thought I just heard a noise. Oh, I think it's my washer. Anyways, okay, I'm like so distracted. I ordered those sneakers and then I got them and I tried them on and I was like, these are, they're not very comfortable. But before I got them, like we ordered them to be shipped to my house and then the package got lost and they sent another one and they were like, if both pairs come, then like one of them will not be in our system. So you can do whatever you want with that one. So we returned the one pair and then we kept the other and it's kind of like a free pair of shoes. So I'm gonna just wear them as like fashion sneakers and they're cute. And I think with thicker, like higher socks, they're not as uncomfortable. I'm just chilling, waiting for my mom. Let's cut here. I think that's enough. We are on our way. You wanna say hi? Say hi. Hi. I know my mom is looking fly today. She was trying to match my fly. And yeah, guys, we're on our way. Where are we going first? Oh, the bank. We're going to the bank first. I have to make some deposits. So I couldn't just use the ATM, which is why I had to wait till the bank was open. And we're cutting it close. It's 1.30, the bank closes at two. We all know I didn't make it yesterday, so hopefully things go better today. Oh, by the way, mom. Yes. Um, I'm gonna be cooking dinner for everyone today. Ooh, what do we have? So I just need to stop at the store and just pick up three things. Wegmans? Yeah, that's fine. Any store. Doesn't matter. I need very basic things. Is it just fries? What do we have? You want me to tell you or you just wanna wait? I'll wait. Okay. I just went into Wegmans to buy like a couple things for dinner. And I kid you not, there was 10 people in each aisle. It was so crowded. So now we're pulling up to Ulta to return some things. I'm gonna tell you the story behind what I'm returning when I get back in because it's just tragic, honestly. But, and I'm sure everyone can relate to it. I have two of these and I'm returning them. Note the name. Yes, they were awful, so. I'm trying to vlog more on my little tripod thing. I have two, this one's like broken, but it works sometimes. I'm trying to vlog on it to make things more steady so my videos are less shaky, but I always vlog in the car, which doesn't help. Anyways, let me tell you my story. So, I went into Ulta about a month and a half ago <laughs> to buy a BB cream. I saw an employee who had kind of a similar complexion as mine. She was a little darker than me, but I figured she might have a good recommendation for a BB cream for me. So I'm like, yeah, you know, do you have any recommendations? Blah, 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 like, what kind do you use? And she's like, oh, I use ColourPop. So we go to ColourPop. Now they have like 15 maybe, maybe even 20 different shades in whatever. I don't know if we were looking at a foundation or a BB cream, I honestly don't know. And she picks up the second, third, and fourth shade. Like lightest, second, third, and fourth lightest shade. And I was like, it's a joke. So then she's like looking and she's like, oh, well, I'm just the manager, but let me bring you to our makeup expert and she'll help shade match you. So I'm like, I think those are a bit too light. And she's like, no, 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 let's just check. So then we go to this other woman. She's like looking at the shades like, oh, this is too pink. This is too pale. This is too light. And in my head, I'm like, shocker. And then she's like, let's do a different brand. So let me go to the Clinique brand, which is the product I just showed you. And she's looking and then she settles on the shade Vanilla. Vanilla. And I'm like, are you sure? She's like, yeah. And now, okay, if you go to makeup stores right now because of COVID, we cannot try the product on ourselves. Basically the products are all taped up, but she was like opening them up anyway and trying them on her and then holding her hand up next to me. So I decided to trust her. <laughs> I bought vanilla and I bought one called Toasted something. I don't remember. Went home, tried it on. Can you guess what happened next? It was too light. And I'm just like, whose shade matches me to vanilla? Like, 
like guys I know I'm like light skin I get it it's fine it's cool it wasn't even the mask thing because at one point she was like hold your breath and pull your mask down really quick so I can see her full face and she did that multiple times so I'm like all right so she saw my face she saw the face and she still gave me vanilla and the other woman was trying to give me shades two three and four out of 15 and I was just all very offended by the whole thing anyways I returned both of those at $67 back on my account. Not even thinking about the shade, the actual product that I got, that Clinique, it was like a new product. It was awful, the texture was awful. Like zero out of 10, don't recommend. The whole thing was just very bad, but I'm just glad that that's done. And I feel like I've been paid for my time, even though I just got refunded what I already spent. It's like I got extra money, but I feel, I feel better now that there's money in my account again. Okay guys, it is about 5.30. I'm just not sitting down to eat. I'm starving. All I've eaten today was some popcorn and that cake pop you saw me bite into. That's about it. I've sipped my coffee, have to finish it. Life's a bit of a mess right now, but it's because I was filming my PRK sit down video. So I filmed that. I've changed into, this is one of my boyfriend's t-shirts. He interned at Protivity, so. This is a little, it's so comfy. I just love his t-shirts. They're like a little big, a little comfy and some joggers. I'm on the couch. I've just turned the fireplace on. I'm gonna eat my Unos now and then the, my last cake pop because I bought two. Then I'm gonna reevaluate my life and decide what to do next. I still plan on cooking today. I plan on cooking a Cajun chicken pasta. It's a one pot recipe and I cooked it with Kirk when I was in Virginia with him last. So I'm gonna cook that for my family today. I also plan on making some cookies because <laughs> today is a very bittersweet weekend because I've decided this weekend will be the last weekend that I'm able to eat dessert. If you don't know me, if you haven't seen my videos, I'm eating something sweet and desserty in every single video because I actually have a very, very, very big sweet tooth. I eat dessert at least once a day for the most part, which I know sounds crazy, but it's the truth. <sighs> And I put on quarantine weight, guys. I've gained like seven or eight pounds. Let's just keep it real. I know a lot of people have gained weight. All my patients are like, I gained 15 pounds. I can't fit any of my clothes. And I'm like, same. <laughs> it's actually crazy. I really wanna like just start one of my goals of 2021, which was to start eating healthier and exercising. So I'm not gonna exercise this weekend. like. Please. today's Saturday by the way I'm gonna start exercising hopefully this coming week I was thinking about doing like a working out every day for 30 days challenge but I think we're just gonna start with three times a week and just take it from there <laughs> right now I'm gonna eat I'm gonna watch Ozark I am at the end of season two it's really crazy I absolutely love it I've really been loafing on starting the show and I just started last week and I'm just like so obsessed it took me like a couple episodes to get into it but now I'm like obsessed Here is my beautiful masterpiece. This is Cajun chicken pasta. It looks very, very good. I'm really excited. I'm gonna have my family try it. I cooked for everyone, so hopefully they like it. I'm a good cook, but I'm just really slow at it for some reason. And I'm also kind of messy. Here is my final result. After walking Ritzy one more time, I'm here with my pasta. I'm ready to eat it. I'm gonna watch Ozark. I'm now in season three. I'm blazing through it. I get post-show sadness. PSD. Wait, 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 no, that's PSS. Guys, I promise I have a degree. Um, every time I finish a show. So even though season four, I think it's gonna be coming out soon-ish, sometime this 
year, hopefully. I don't know, but I'm going to be very, very sad when I finish it. And I don't know when I'm starting next. I don't have a plan. But anyways, I am going to end the vlog here, guys. I'm so tired. I think it is about maybe 1030. It's pretty late. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to make some cookies. And then I'm probably going to fall asleep on this couch. Hopefully my makeup is off before I fall asleep because that's just awful when you wake up and your makeup is still on and you just like hate yourself for a couple moments. But anyways, if you like this video, please like the video. Consider subscribing. If you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I make a video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.